Hey guys, welcome back to the Sweet Page Chicken YouTube channel. I'm Brooke. I'm Kimberly. I'm Angel. And today is May 1st, 2021, and this is episode 12. And we are coming to you from Virginia, United States. We are a primarily knitting podcast, but we have other crafty adventures, which Angel is going to be able, from the Scrappy Angel, is going to be able to show <laughs> us today. Uh, Brooke, however, does not knit. She says she crafts a little, but she's mainly here for comedic entertainment and to hold things up for us. Thanks, Brooke. Oh, yeah, you know, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Yay, Brooke. All right, and for all you new viewers, thank you for coming to check us out, and for everyone who's returning, thanks for coming back. You can find me on Ravelry at K Armini, just my first initial last name, and you can find us on Instagram at Sweet Pea and Chickadee. And Angel, where can they find you? Um, they can find me on Instagram as the Scrappy Angel. They can also find me on Ravelry as A Seraphim. Okay, so we are so lucky to have the Scrappy Angel joining us today um, for just a point of fact, we have both been fully vaccinated, so yay! That is so much fun. It's so nice to be with people in the flesh, because after a while you just get to a point where you're like, if I don't see another human being besides my family, <laughs> I think I'm going to go nuts. <laughs> That's right. When we were first talking about this, you know, it's all going to be virtual, but then we all got vaccinated. She's like, wait, we can meet in person. I'm like, what? We can do it in person? I know. I know. It's like, I, I don't even know how to act. I'm sitting here going, <laughs> oh my God, I could actually reach out and touch these two and not actually feel bad about it. <laughs> I, and I'm excited to see all of your whips in person because we have a weekly knit night that we've all gotten to see everybody's whips and stuff. Right. And we're used to having our knit nights in person pre-2020. So those were really fun to be able to see whips and finished objects. And so I'm really excited to see all the stuff in person, all the colors and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But first, let's talk about how we met, Angel. We how we met. We both um, our local yarn shop is Needles in the Haymarket, and I actually used to work at a shop that was right next door to Needles. Mm -hmm. um, and then right before we closed, I started going to knit. Um, and then I brought Holly. Holly, which is my daughter-in-law, um, she's Whiskers and Stitches. For uh, some of you who don't know, mm -hmm. um, we would go to knit night, and then. You and Rebecca walked in one day, mm -hmm. and we were just like, oh, new people, hey, blah, 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 and we're all just chit-chatting, and then it just kind of grew from there, yeah. and then we did that for, what was it, six months I would say COVID six months. months. Yeah, that's when we started going, and Rebecca is Raging Pearl Win, for those oh, who yeah. don't know. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. But that's, uh, yeah, and I, I don't think I've ever even said when I talk about Scrappy Angel bags that Scrappy Angel lives, like, right next to me. <laughs> Not next to me, but, like, near me, in the same location. Yes. And we're all relatively close to each other yeah we're about tw 20 minutes it's about it takes 20 25 depending on the traffic that's not bad so it's not it's not bad at all yeah that and then we started um the virtual knit night mm -hmm. and that was when everything just took off i mean mm -hmm. we, we started out it was going to be a every once in a while thing where we all got together via zoom and we would just talk and then it turned out to be a weekly thing and now it's one of those things that nothing comes in between knit night <laughs> everybody's like we're messaging each other going um i'm running late i will be there <laughs> it's like we have a group chat on instagram we're we all do. talking about it. we didn't have any of that before before when we had knit night it was it was a weekly thing but most of us couldn't make it every week because we're all we're no. all working from like different locations so I know Rebecca and I would try to get there every other week. I think you guys did too. We did. We tried to time it so we were there when you guys mm -hmm. were there. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. But now that it's virtual, I mean, it's so easy to join every night. The commute's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we join every night. And even if we have something going on, we just join late. Right. Or you know. And I can have my lovely glass of wine and not have to worry <laughs> about getting behind the wheel. <laughs> That's right. I know normally it used to be coffee. Like, I know Rebecca and I would stop by Starbucks Absolutely. on the way. Absolutely. Or something. But then, you know. So it's, it's yeah, Holly it's, and I did the same thing. We'd yeah. stop at Starbucks and then we'd sit and chit chat. It was a lot. Of, it, it just I think we've all grown a lot closer because I think it was Kate's idea. It was Kate's idea to do the very first virtual. I believe so. I believe so. And then night. you had the Zoom account because we're like, mm -hmm. we're gonna Zoom and then they're gonna kick us off after twenty minutes. Is it worth yeah. it? And then you were like, oh, I've got a Zoom, so mm -hmm. let's do that. I actually got the Zoom just for tonight. Oh. Because <laughs> we were like, how are you going to do you, it? No. I thought you had it for I was like, don't worry, guys. Anything. I got it. I will get Zoom because it's not, I mean, it's not that. But I'm like, I can have it for anything else I use, but I've never used it. Only for that a night. And it's so fun. And I, it definitely brings us a lot closer. We're all like, and even like Lorelai, a couple people from my night, yeah. they could hardly ever come before because they live so far away. But now they come all the time. So it's really good. I like it. 
I actually have to give you guys the credit for me starting the Scrappy Angel. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, uh, first of all, well, because she would bring in these bags, these wonderful bags to knit night when we were in person. And we're all like, she'd pull out these, and we're like, what's up with this? What's happening here? Oh, I just made this. And we're like, um, yeah. can Share you with make the more? <laughs> you know? And then it was like a while later, all of a sudden she's like, oh, I'm going to make bags. We're like, yes, finally. Okay. Well, well I, it got to a point where we, we would show up at, even at knit night, and it still took me a year before... I, I started mm -hmm. doing it from knit night because Janet, I would break out my thing and you would say, oh, Angel, where'd you get that bag? And I'm like, well, I made it. And Janet would be knitting going, uh, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it just got to a point where it was like, okay, well, I, I can make you guys some. And you guys are like, no, make them and sell them, make them and mm -hmm. sell them. You'll, you, you'll do great. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I hemmed and hawed for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah. But we're so glad you did it. Yay! <laughs> Uh, what are you wearing right now, Angel? I am wearing the Stepping Stone Cardigan by Rebecca of Raging Pearlwin. I love this sweater. Um, this is the absolute first sweater I ever knit. And oh, I did the sweater, not and I did the, the test cardigan? knit for her, yes. Oh my goodness. Um, it's the first one. I love it. I wear it mm -hmm. all the time. It, it's comfortable, it's warm, and it was for my surprisingly for my first sweater, I was amazed at how it flew off the needles. I never I never worried about not getting it. Mm -hmm. it, it. It made perfect sense and it read beautifully the okay. way she described everything. But that's how Rebecca's, all her say, patterns are. That's I mean, how all of her patterns are. They're, they're beautifully written and no matter who you are, you can go in and you could actually just do it. And I'm just mm -hmm. one of those people that it's like, I'll just dive right in. I don't care what the project is or how hard it looks. I wanna say, Quite, for quite a few of her testers during this test knit were actually their first, either first cardigan or first sweater. Wasn't it Holly's too? Yes, it was. And I think it was Kate's first cardigan. I don't know that for sure, but I think it was Kate's first something maybe. Um, maybe her first cardigan because she's like a sweater knitting. Amazing. Oh yeah. She, <laughs> so she, She's like Lorelai Jr. <laughs> I think it was my first cardigan too, actually. It was like a lot of ours first cardigan, but she it's just, it's so easy to do. So you guys should really check out that pattern. It's amazing. And you can like, all, and she, what I love about Rebecca's patterns as well is that she makes them so easy to alter or modify. Like she, right. if you want to make arms. the sleeves longer, if you want to make the body longer, if you want to make, it's just so easy in a pattern for, for even beginners to change that up. Well, and what I liked about the, the stepping stone Cardi is she had tips mm -hmm. and actual parts of it to where you could fill in your own sizes so you could make the sleeves because I'm not a small girl um, and my arms are not small but she made it perfectly fine so you could increase your arms and it fits beautifully without mm -hmm. having to rethink and and figure out okay I have to do this it's everything is just step by step written mm -hmm. which really I, I loved having it as my first one because it gave me the encouragement to do more sweaters mm -hmm. We love you, Rebecca. <laughs> Keep designing. <laughs> all right, so let's just jump right into the good stuff. All the, you know, foes and whips and stuff. So I have foes, none. And actually, I have a frowny face on my show notes. So I have no foes. But in my defense, we just podcasted last week. Right. You guys, <laughs> it's only you guys been did. one week. I have made some significant progress in some whips where I thought I might have gotten one done, but I didn't last night. But um, Angel, would you like to show us some of your foes? That's a, this is a foe. This is a so foe, but it. Uh, has not been blocked, and the ends have not been weaved in, so, still, still so sorry, people. Still a so foe. This one is the Studio 54 shawl by, um, is it Christy Houghton? Yarn Cafe Creations. Oh, yes. Um, so, I think oh my I God. I'm it. so excited to see this in person. So, if you, Brooke, can you hold this one side? So, like I said, the oh, ends goodness. aren't weaved in, but it's just beautiful. Um, I wanted something, when I first looked at it, I wanted something fall. So what I did was um, I went into needles and I got these. I, I actually brought the yarn. Hey, you are so good. <laughs> so I got these colors. So you've got... Brooke, do you want to show them up close? Do you mind? I got this. Okay, thank you. That's her job. Angel. Oh, that's her job. That's what okay, she's here I'm for. Sorry. So you've got those. Um, the black is called Guy Noir. The uh, speckled is the Great Pumpkin, and the solid gold is called Yellow Brick Road. 
So I just thought that they were, you can just drop that in back in here. Thank you. <laughs> and um, they're by who you said again? Uh, knitted Wit. Knitted Wit. I, we love oh, yeah. Knitted Wit. Knitted Wit. Here's the. I was going to say, I love this spec. I love just the, this, the. Yeah, it's, there's the marls. Yeah, there's marls. And then you've got, you've got this beautiful. I'm so sorry, <laughs> sweetheart. Uh, um, it's Pretty got the beautiful. Um, spine. Spine that goes down the center. And then there's texture. If you look at the texture, the texture right here on it is just fun and it just went together beautifully i think i did that um the last time when we went to myrtle beach mm. um and i took the vacation i did that whole shawl just driving the seven hours to myrtle beach really? and the seven hours back i finished really? it. so did you say what base is that or what weight is that dk that is it's sock based um, it's on yeah it is sock Oh, but you're holding like a double. double. Oh, okay. You're holding a double to make it. it feels thicker. Or you could use a DK. I love it. But because you're holding a double, you're marling it too. So you're holding like one skein of the yellow brick road with the black, or I one see. skein of you know the yellow brick road with the actual variegated. Mm -hmm. So that's it's one really of them. That's really something pretty. that I would wear in like the fall. It, yeah. My favorite holiday is Halloween. So I am I always, Halloween. you know, and. I took, I went to see Kenny. Kenny is the son of Marty who owns Needles at the Haymarket. And I pulled these out and I'm, and I'm always, it's so funny. You look at him and you're like, so do you think these colors would work with me? Because I'm so pale mm -hmm. um, that yellow and with the blonde hair, yellow is not a good color on me. But I think the gold, yes. the gold it's works gold. great. Mm -hmm. It's not like light yellow or lemon yellow. Right, right. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that would be a hot mess and a half. I love yellow. Yellow's my favorite color. These are my secret sister socks. Oh, so, so it's yarn you got from your secret, your, our, we do secret sister, I know I've said this before, but we do with our knit night people. Yes. And it was actually Angel's idea, wasn't it? Angel set that up and Holly helps and we, so we have our secret sisters and we get like little goodies every now and then throughout, throughout the year. year. Yeah, it just makes it fun and with COVID and everything, mm -hmm. It, it was just nice to get a little more connection and you learned about your secret sister so everybody sent in information not that we didn't know a lot of the mm -hmm. stuff already but it was just nice you you found out their birthdays and you found out you know you had favorite colors and what they love to drink tea or coffee mm -hmm. um and then you know just what kind of yarns they love i am totally addicted to self-striping yarn i am and i was so happy the way these turned out so I'm just excited to get the the ends weaved in. I can't talk today. So you did a fish lips kiss heel on that. You did the garter one, right? I did. That was the first time I've done the garter I like one. It. I heard you and Lorelai talking yeah. about it at knit night, and I was like, it adds the texture and squish on the heel. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. So I was like, eh, I'll try it, and I actually really liked it. So what was this yarn? Is that the opal uh, yarn? I have that. Do you mind holding that, yeah, please? I remember what that was. This is, yes, this is the opal. I've, I've heard amazing oh, things about the opal. I have not <laughs> just tried it yet. Is there a color on there, Brooke? Um, it might be a number. I don't know. I don't see any. I think it's in German. Oh. Is it in German? Oh, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of German. Okay, Brooke's it out. <laughs> just uh, kidding. <laughs> but it, it's like really this. pretty, and it's squishy, and Is it's... it close to Regia? Is it Regia or Regia? I always want to say Regia, but people say Regia, and I'm like, is it Regia? Oh, we should ask Marty. She would yeah, know. She probably know. <laughs> but is it similar to that when you knit it? Oh um, yes, it feels actually, like it. and it flies. And um, I do everything on the eight-inch circular needles. Circular needles. Me too. Socular. Yeah, the circular yeah. needles. Totally. Yeah. New word. Yeah. Don't mind me. Um, and needles, my last circles. whip. Faux. Or gosh darn it. <laughs> my last faux is the. Um, oh yeah. yeah. It's a Nizumi tea. This is All right, Brooke, you wanna okay. get that? Get this texture. Oh, you can see it right there in the light. So it is just needs to be blocked and have Look the at this ends weaved right in. there, and, and then, then the side has that same. Brooke, texture. you wanna show this this little like? Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know it was on this little side panel too. Yeah, and it's it's done flat, and you have to seam it. So this was my first seamed sweater. This is so cute. I love this. It, it is adorable. So it is the... I don't think there's anything on there. Um, don't ask the color, or the colorway, or the yarn, because... <laughs> 
I couldn't find that in my stash and if you saw my stash you would not need to worry about it um, the bag it's in is a bag that I made for myself um, a couple of years ago um, it's just a normal mm -hmm. Like a tote plain, bag. Yeah, plain, mm -hmm. simple tote. Cute. So, yeah, that's what I have for It's all for your bows. It's all for your bows. <laughs> gonna... bows. Um, well, it's, it's more than I had. I had a frowny face. You guys just zoom in. Frowny face. You were just doing that to make me feel good. I was like, we'll, we'll, let, we'll Angel show some of her, uh, her bows. <laughs> no. Okay, let's get to whips. I actually have a lot of good stuff for that. Um, and I know Angel has a ton of whips she brought, which I'm so excited about because it's uh, more than just knitting. Uh, yeah, I brought some of my, um, I brought two quilting, quilting whips. She's an amazing quilter. How many quilts do you have at your house? Like that are done? That are done, done? You mean completely bound and quilted? That you just like have at your house, yeah. Um, I probably have a good 10? Yeah. That I've kept personally. I I've feel done like more almost that every, I give away. I feel like almost every knit night you're like, oh look at my new quilt I just finished. And we're all like, what? It's been a week and you finish a new quilt? She's just like, you're super quick and amazing. Well, you guys get to see them because I, I hang out I hang them up in my in my um office, I guess is what you could call it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, you got one of those hanger things. What do you call it? Are they called something? It's a curtain rack. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, cur <laughs> no, it's a curtain it. rack and it has these little clips that you can clip on the uh -huh. binding and it holds it up. That's so smart. That's smart. It makes it easier. Okay, cool. So how many whips did you bring? I have um, four. One, two. And one's three. barely a whip. I'm just like calling it a whip because <laughs> it will be a whip tonight. I have three. <laughs> Prick, yeah. I yeah, have mom. mom had that determination. Yes. <laughs> I have three knitting whips and two quilting whips. Okay, cool. You go first. You put the so I have four. So you can do your first one. We'll just like trade off and on. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. This one's easy. Okay. Ooh. This is in my inside outside uh, bag that will be in my next shop update. So and then afterwards I want Brooke to hold that up because it's cute. Yes. I. This is the first one I made, which was again for me and another one of the, uh, of course you did, from Janet. So thanks, Janet. <laughs> Um, the first one is just a plain vanilla Ooh. sock knitted in the round, and it is the jaw wool, Lang jaw wool. Is that how you put it? It says more opal. Oh, it says jaw I thought it was more German. I've never heard of that. Where'd you get that one from? Um, I got that at Marty's. What? I believe uh, I, I got that at Marty's. I, I try to stay away from the self striping yarn because I will buy all of it. So I this try to pretty. steer this clear of that bin. So this is in teal gold. This is the heels, toes, and cuffs. This is actually uh, to the max yarn. Oh, I um, love that blue. I had bought, she had a Rainbow Pride color mm. uh, mini set mm -hmm. last year, and I bought that, and they have been absolutely perfect for the heels, toes, um, and cuffs, but I really don't do my cuffs um, in, in a siding color, so. Oh my like, goodness, I got this. Yeah, because I had a yarn barb <laughs> when I pulled the tail. Don't you hate that when you like I'm pull like, it out? I'm you're like, oh, I'm gonna be so neat and tidy, and then it comes out. You're like, really? <laughs> it's so, just that sometimes when I like take my own yarn, I pull it out. Uh, I'm like, well, that was helpful. I know. Where did I, you I get did. the stitch marker? The stitch marker actually was in the. Um, I I'm in row one. Yes, I got oh, the row, row one. one. Oh, see, that month. looks familiar. I think I have that. One. I know. Oh, it looks, yeah. I know. It looks familiar. So yeah, the row one because of course I had to jump on that bandwagon when you did, because um, that's how we like that's how we are. We uh, enable each other. So that's pretty. That, I really like that. And you are blues. You love blues. Obviously. Yes, I, I love blues. I love. I am I love a total blues. total blue girl. That is my absolute favorite color. Um, my least favorite color has always been pink. Sorry, Kate. I was gonna say so sorry, Kate. Kate. But. <laughs> You got some pink the other night. Well, it was pink I, in your yarn. I I've actually started to like pink. Um, nice. If you, I mean, because pink. I mean, yeah. Um, but it tulip pink, the quilt designer or quilt fabric designer is the one that actually got me liking pink. Oh, nice. There's something about her pink. It's not that uh, pastel baby pink that my mom used to dress me in because I was a blonde girl. That oh my god, you have to wear pink. Mm -hmm. Well, so. blonde hair with blue eyes. She was just like, gotta go, gotta, gotta do it, gotta do and, it. And oh my god, I, it took me forever. Pink just was not my thing. Brooke always looked good in all the colors. It was maroon. 
like the one color that you put her in and it was like oh like it didn't look good with her olive skin for some reason huh i have a maroon sweatshirt why didn't you tell me this before as a baby oh i was like i have a maroon sweatshirt i love that sweatshirt <laughs> and it's a sweatshirt like, like a full outfit like it's a baby like clothes for her sweatshirt I, now well, it's like teen wolf sweatshirts that's my for, favorite for baby clothes you're like in a full outfit and it was just like oh. like everything else was super cute and then i put this and it, was, it like kind of washed out her olive skin and made you look kind of like mm. yellowish or something oh yeah don't please know. don't why would you do that to me you look fine now with your olive. thanks <laughs> <laughs> oh my so gosh. what do you have kim Okay, for I'm just gonna, whatever I have to grab. Um, okay. Oh yes. I know oh, yeah. my Tim Eads bag. This was I put this last time. It's my very first project bag I ever bought, and I got it looped in DC. Oh. Okay. I even have the looped like the looped oh, uh, the pin, pin for DC. But I was so excited because I never had a knitting project bag, and so I went there, and it's like very sturdy. And he's got like all the bells Is and that whistles. Can that's canvas. Yes, canvas. Yeah. It's like it's even got these little. Oh, that's awesome. The little, like, snaps where you can, like, loop the grommets. I don't ever use them, but uh, you grommets. could. And it's got two. Where you do, like, color work, you can keep them separate. That's oh, awesome. Do that. that is, that's a great idea. Grommets. Yeah, I don't ever bag. use them. It's got some pockets in there. Grommets. Yeah, I like, I like the size. Why do you keep saying that? I don't know that? what that word is. <laughs> These are grommets. I thought those were, like, silver rings. Whatever. And they snap in and out if you want to take them out. Alright guys, so this is where the real crowd gets in. This is what? This is mine. This is it. Brooke. Brooke, do you want to intro and talk about it? Let's do Oh, I know what it's called. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know what it's called. I got all of my... I'm still... I thought I'd be done with the lace panels so I'd have all these markers off. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? I love this little panel thing. Oh, and yeah. it's got that. So this is um Here, Brooke. my Here, tank Brooke. top that I worked extremely hard on day and night. <laughs> um... <laughs> She's, she's just, she's um, exhausted. I, yeah, my hands are sore. It's she's, bad. She had the, something we can wipe her brow Yeah. Like, so this is um a tank top. Shockingly, I know. What's it called? Uh, this is the Summer Court tank top, or tank, mm -hmm. um, by Dragon Horde Designs. Mm -hmm. And I love also her yarn that mom buys. And I'm just like, that's nice yarn, mom. Good on you. Well, we met that. her. We did meet her. She was the sweetest thing ever. I saw her, and then I was like, I love you. Because it was at the Maryland Sheep and Wool, but it, she was at the Knot House pop-up in Fredericksburg. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to go there. Is that what it is? Yeah. Fredericks? Cool. Fredericksburg, Fredericks, Fredericks, Maryland. Fredericks? Mom, yeah. was, mom was fangirling the whole entire time we were there. Um, Chelsea, uh, Christina from Chelsea Lux was there. Oh. Like, I think Olan was there. Like, it was, I was just like, I can't handle Speaking of that, this. dude, don't even give me started. I want to raid your stash for Chelsea Lux, because I want to feel like, yes, see um, how it does. you can, mom yes. was like, they were like, oh, what's your Instagram? Mom's like, oh, you don't need my Instagram, I'm, no, I'm a nobody. And I was like, mom, give them your That Instagram. was the one, who was the one? That that was, was Chelsea. No, it was the one in Texas. That was Chelsea. It was, they were like, oh, you're on Instagram, what's your Instagram? And I was like, Psh, I'm nobody. And, I, and Brooke was like, mom, why didn't you give them your Instagram? I was like, because I'm nobody. And then I told you know, her, I actually told her, girl, it's, it's KRMini45, go. <laughs> I was, because that was in 2019, I was like, I'm nobody, you don't, you don't want to see me. Like, you don't want to be friends with me, but I'm totally obsessed over you, and Brooke was like, Mom, you're like, I like weird out when it comes, like, I make them uncomfortable, I think. She, she made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, I was just like, like, I'm like sweating and stuff. And then we came back out, and then I was like, Dad. <laughs> Mom was like, that was with poor Christina from Chelsea. Lux, I totally, I think I made her feel a little uncomfortable. I feel really bad. She probably thought it was very. But the sweet. other girl, the Texas one, I think she's the one that asked for me. What bunny? I thought rabbit, was... rabbit. Oh my gosh! Why don't I remember? I just, you're like searching in my eyes for this information. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know. Why don't I? Like, okay, totally while you're thinking blinking. that, yes. so well, this is the um, this. this is the tank. So it has like you know these cool you know designs, I guess. <laughs> Um, and we have all of these, so some most of these um, stitch markers are from Whiskers and Stitches. Yeah, like a majority. Yeah. And then we have this yarn. It's called, well, uh, the green is lime. What's the, who made this yarn? Oh, Alexandria Yarn. Alexandra Art of Yarn. Oh, Alexandra Art of Yarn. So the green is lime and the gray is twilight. And you can, there's there a ball band. In, oh, I have the bag. Here is the ball band. That it. So I am, I would say, like three quarters of the way through the lace paneling. So lace paneling is the one on the bottom, and it's gonna be so cute. I can even show a picture 
of what it's going to be. Brooke, did you want to do that? Um, do you want to hold this? I oh, it. I <laughs> somebody. I thought you were asking me. I thought you were asking me. I was, I was like holding it right here. <laughs> I thought you were like. I'll just hold. I'll be the. I'll be the, the third pair of hands. I'll just hold it. I thought you wanted me to hold the picture of the on the iPad without poking you in the face with the mitt. You go show us what the tank top's gonna look like. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, so this is the tank top. I think what really attracted yeah. me was the bottom part right here, and also I like the straps. But it's definitely really pretty, and I even love that yarn that she used when she made it. So. And um, this actually has the option for beads. Like, there's beading in the lace. You can put oh, beads in fun. it, which would probably make it heavier and kind of hang down, which would be kind of cool. But I did not give Brooke that option because I was well, not she going would, to like, do it. She said, "Yeah, did you know there's beads in there?" I'm like, "Oh, I don't really want beads in, the, in there anyway." And she's like, "She's like, well, I wasn't even going to give you that option." Anyway, so I was like, <laughs> I was like okay. "I'm like, don't worry, I wasn't going to do it anyways." Because like I haven't done beading before and I wasn't going to learn now. So yeah. sorry, Brooke. <laughs> okay, so next, what is your I will pull Next up this whip. one. Okay, so this is my boxy. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. So I am always late to the party on everything. So you probably know what a boxy is, but it's boxy by Hohi Lo Locatelli. So I did it and I'm on the first sleeve. I'm finally on the first sleeve. Oh my goodness. So, so here's excited. the yarn. Just you as a person. And the yarn is three Irish girls. And the color is Trey Chic. It's kind of getting blown out by that light, Brooke. Can we move it to the left? My left? Oh, oh, what left you I were don't doing. know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's better. Love three Irish girls. <laughs> I do too, and uh, when we get to acquisitions, I bought more. Nice. Um, because, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, second of buzz. No, it's fine. I just put it behind us. Okay. So I'll put that back. So here it is. Oh my goodness. And then there's the, the sleeve. Oh, you're on the sleeve. Oh my goodness. Is, that, is it already? like a three quarter sleeve? Or? Yeah, it's supposed to stop right about here. Uh huh. But I am not a, you know, it, it it stops here, but you're supposed to go down to just below the elbow, but that bugs me. Mm -hmm. I am not a person who likes things up unless I've pushed them up mm -hmm. because I'm always constantly pulling down my sleeves and it just is not I love this top part mm -hmm. of the boxy. Yeah, I love the, the, the design. The detail. So what I did was I just, I made the sleeves a little longer and then I'm going to do a very long um, ribbing mm -hmm. for the cuff. So it'll probably start here with the ribbing and then it'll go down to just below my wrist. I like a long ribbing. Because I, I just, I want something comfortable. And then of course the stitch marker is the whiskers and stitches. The gummy bear. The gummy bear because we all love the gummy bears. <laughs> They are the best. My sense of highway has like a six inch ribbing cuff. Does it really? Mm hmm It's oh. awesome. I love it. You don't have to like, that's what the pattern calls for, but you don't have to do it. But I was like, yes, I am. I love long. Cause you can fold it if you want to, but I wouldn't. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I might fold it. Where is and what is this, uh, what is this bag? Is this like a retreat the, bag? This is the retreat bag. All right. Well, my next whip is, here's that. <gasps> There's that bag. Oh, I wanted to get my hands on it. I'm sorry. Don't mind me. <laughs> This is a I bag by Mountain. This is Mountain State Stitches bag. This is a little. Uh, this is a small size. Yeah, I, I like that. I love that. I know. That is beautiful. It's like it doesn't have any pocket you tracing, it, but if you notice it missing when she leaves, we just got tracing. I know. I like um, the color. Is really what I like the colors in the mountains and trees and stuff. Anyways, my muscle burra hat is in here. Oh, that is so pretty. Look I love those how colors. it's striped. It is. I know. Last time I wasn't sure if it was going to stripe or, or spiral. Well, at first I didn't know if it. I thought it was in a pool. Like that's when I when I first saw the skein, I thought it was in a pool, which I was okay with because I still like the colors. But um, then it it was here last time, 
last weekend, last night I podcast. So it's gotten all the way up to here, which is a wow. ton. But you did that at her uh, Yes, games, her lacrosse right? game. So she had two lacrosse games this week, and I was, like, nervous knitting. <laughs> Why are and you I, nervous knitting? I'm the one getting pegged with balls over there. Because, like, I feel like... Because you're getting pegged yeah. by balls. Your mom is nervous knitting. And it's knitting. really, like, just before the game and, like, during halftime. But I'm, like... I'm, I'm like, really telepathic and I'm just like I'm like nervous so she's like I'm feeling so nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> so last weekend when I last time we podcasted I was there so I could tell it was striping but I didn't know if it would be more of a stripey or a spiral because sometimes it looks more spirally. Right. This no. is clearly a striping mm -hmm. which is so cool. That is beautiful. Here's the iron book. Do you want to show us up close? I made a lot of progress on I'm pretty excited. And it feels beautiful. I know. Well it's knitted wit. Of course. Love knitted wit. Does Marty have that? Yeah, I got it. I got it at uh, LYS Day, so it's still there. So I forced her to get it. Just got it. Brooke was at, so this is it was it's lazuli bunting, and it's on sport weight. So I okay. normally do these in fingering weight, or if I normally the last two I did and they were amplifier yarn, but um this, we saw that one. It was sport weight. I'm like, well, it's not because what's so good with this pattern is that you can change the weights and it just changes your gauge and oh, it tells okay. you how to do it. Um, but the only thing is I had to redo it a couple times because I was not for gauge, but more going for the fabric I wanted. Because at first it was too dense. Okay. And so with a normal fingering weight, I do a, a two, US 2.5 two size needle, but I went all the way up to a 5, US 5, okay. for the, just for the sport weight. I mean, it's not, but this feels very thick it's, for sport, oh, wow. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does. It's very soft. It's, it's got a, a DK weight to it. That's what I, I was like, this is sport? <laughs> I mean, but, but it's amazing. And I wanted more. I like the drapiness of a muscle Sorry. over a hat. No, we do that all the time on the podcast. So, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Ample fibers on it feels really good. Yeah, it does. It does. A lot. <laughs> it does. It does. Well, I have to go. I have to swing by needles on my way home after we're done podcasting. Because your I, book came in? My book. My 20s. Yeah. I was like, I wanted to go there yesterday, but we couldn't get it. We or pre-ordered the 52 Weeks of Shawls book. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am excited to dive into that. So they're in. I wonder if that Dream and Color set is ready because she said it wasn't ready yesterday. She posted this morning it's that ready? there are pictures where she has the Dream and Color stuff. So oh my gosh. I will be getting that too. So There was like a Dream and Color LYS Day kit. Uh huh. Um, but then we, uh, Marty, our Needles and Haymarket, just like it was delayed the shipping or something like, like that. So we all like, okay, well, we're definitely getting it. And then she's got the Casapinka. Oh my gosh. That's why I didn't go in yesterday. I was the like, nancho, if the I go nancho, in. The Nancho. The non-show. If I go in, because she has them in Dream and Color kits, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I love Dream and Color. If I go in, I'm gonna get a non-show kit. Well, see, I, I already know this. <laughs> I haven't gotten any Dream and Color because I'm still a relatively new knitter. I'll have to knitter. show you all my Dream. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love Dream. I'm still a relatively new knitter, so all of the stuff I'm constantly. I've only been knitting. I was knitting That's six like... months before Knit Night. That was but it. That was like that's two years ago. That's two years. Okay, okay. Well, but compared to you. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> but I still feel like we're all on the same level because, like, mm -mm. I've been knitting since Dalen was 18 months and he's a college freshman. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a but, knitter. Like, I feel like we're the same. Small K. I, very small Very small No. K. Oh, I, yeah. like, well, you did, take the, you did take that huge break, remember? I did take a lot, yeah. So I, I'm she not, took, like, uh, I, once you go back into the knitting, I was like, knitting? That's a thing in this house. I would do it. I would do it sporadically okay. over that. I wouldn't like knit hardcore. But she like, made she make us like winter hats. Or, like, she like scarves and hats and shawls. Oh, that was like all I really did. And then all of a sudden she started making clothes. I was like, can you do that? <laughs> you can do that. But I really like this Mountain State Stitches bag because it's perfect for. I really like that bag. on the go because I go without the game. I can just carry it in really easily. That would have been perfect when you were standing in line to get your shot. That's what she said. <laughs> I had the peekaboo pouch, but a peekaboo pouch is so I just tucked it under my arm and was like, doo -doo -doo, I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna add a handle to it. I loved it though, but I was like, oh, but then the second when I got my second COVID vaccine, I brought this and there was no line. I was like, of course not, because I even you're prepared. prepared. <laughs> it's not good. That's how that always works. But I really like um, how this muscle burr hat. This is my this will be muscle burr hat number three, guys. If you guys are keeping count, I'm gonna have to jump on that bandwagon. I haven't made one yet. It's so, so good. It's like, it's even better because you know how socks are a good, easy project, mindless knitting if you're doing vanilla socks? This is even better because it's, it's just, you're not like on the tight little, it's more, right. it's looser and it's just, but you still see progress quickly because right. it's still small enough. I think that's why. Well, my youngest son, he's in uh, North Dakota, so a hat like that would be perfect so he can pull it down over his ears and mm -hmm. 
and keep it. Oh, did you show my chicken from Whiskers and Precious Chicken? Also, I really love that it uses, I use my entire skein of yarn. So if you have beautiful yarn that you want to use all up. So I, I don't like having leftovers, so I'm like, what am I going to do? But then I have scrappy projects. But yeah. I like how I can use it all up. That's what I do. Okay, what's your next one, Angel? Uh, my next one. And this is the last knitting one I have. It's another sweater. I love this bag. Oh, thank you. That's another retreat bag. It's another retreat bag. This is the Zadie sweater. If I am correct. Yes. Those are cute boxes. Mm -hmm. You want to open up the sweater, Beth? Yeah, it's just the body. I'm at the point now where I need to start the sleeves. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Look at those, the raglan part of the yeah. sleeves, Brooke. Show the... Um, Thank you, Brooke. Mm -hmm. The pattern. So that's that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, like right there. Wow, that's gonna look really pretty. I I'm excited about it. And blue, of course, my of course. color. Um, so do you know this yarn? This yarn, I do. <laughs> I actually have it. This is Cloudborn Merino Highland Worsted in the Dolphin Blue. <gasps> Ooh, Dolphin Blue. So this is the one when I did the the video. You can see the cakes of yarn. I mean, it is. Those are perfectly caked. Those are nice. I think my my ball, my yarn winder is getting a little mm -hmm. iffy. Because the tops of my cakes are all like a knotted mess. Like it keeps slipping and I think I, I think I need a new one. Oh, what a shame. I want one of those um, um, electric ones. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they have them where they're like, like, I forget who makes them, but they have like a whole stand but you like Remember it. Remember I told you guys, like a whole stand, oh, yeah. it attaches to it, and it has the swift, and it's all electric. But, and you, all like, but you like doing it. I mean, I would like it too if it's electric and I had pretty cakes. Be okay. Well, I usually like, I like winding arts. It's like very um, therapeutic. and I like, I like setting up for a project. I like doing it. I don't even know. Yeah, I like I casting know. on. Okay, so this is in my, it just so happens that all my whips are not in Scrappy Angels, except for one. Normally, like, they're all Scrappy mm -hmm. Angel. Yeah, well. <laughs> This there, is my there are Matter great bag makers out there. <laughs> this is Matter Root bag. I like this because it, it like buckles. Last That's night, I, last night also, she was talking to me. I was like, mm -hmm. and I just kept like opening it and closing it. And I have small sock size one, which I love for commuting in the city because it would clip onto my backpack. So when I was walking, oh. I would just clip it and I wouldn't have to carry it. That's a great idea. Which one's that? Is that like the plant the one, or one or the one? Either one. They're the same size. Okay, so you guys, my Find Your Fade <gasps> by oh, Andrea I'm so Mallory. To see this. I literally thought I was gonna have it finished, and then I'm on the last color, but I'm not finished yet. Oh my gosh! So the, the fact that that fit in there, like you just kept pulling it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a great size bag. But it's it was, like I got that. That was a Maryland Sheep and Wool. Like it was Maryland. Sheep the and wax wool. tote bottom was like the first time she did it, mm -hmm. and like I like got I remember, my scored one. Ma, Dad and I were waiting for her, and we look at her, and she's like, I was like, I got it. <laughs> Actually, it was the chickeny one. It was chickeny. I was looking that. for the little bird one, and yeah. there was there was none left. And someone went and put it down. Like they were, they didn't want to buy out. Like <gasps> I was like, yes. if you're not <laughs> taking it, it is mine. Yes. And then Dad like turns to me. He's like, "Your mom's so cute." And I was like, "Yeah, I know." <laughs> it's good when your husband thinks it's adorable that you're like spending money, yeah. spending money <laughs> about yarn or whatever. Okay, so I'm on the very last color. I'm so excited. Excited. So pretty. <gasps> okay, which Love. side is the point? Because there's like, it's asymmetrical right here. Hey, now Angel's here. Now I don't have to like lean to the side. Actually, no, I might still have to. So I think this is the, yep, yeah, this is the right side. Look at this. I mean, so up, it's kind of still on the, I don't want it to come off. Look, look, so it goes from Brooks End, which is like the dark black, well, it's like a charcoal gray, charcoal black, ah. all the way, and it's coming to the white. Now I'm on the very last color, which I barely start. I just cut the other color. The only modification I made was in here, this gray, I had to elongate and make it more before I faded in this color, because I only had a little bit of this color. Brooke, do you want to, actually, we should probably all stand up and show this color. Okay. Well, because you guys stand <laughs> Brooke <up>. can't. <laughs> So like this color, I didn't have that much of it. The light is like. Isn't that so where you last were from last podcast? Yes, last weekend I was here. I made a lot of progress on this. I'm so excited. So this color is the one I had to elongate, make it use more of it because I didn't have as much of this. But and now I'm on this color, which is all tangled up now. Good grief, guys. This is on three Irish girls as well. This is Big Baller. <laughs> Name is so cool. 
This is my last color. Yay, look how big it is. Oh my gosh. That is. It's gonna be so amazing. I'm just actually really excited to be done with it. <laughs> this was a 2020 cast on. And I don't even know when because I was not. I thought it was during quarantine. Well, obviously, but like oh. when? This quarantine was so long. <laughs> but like. And it was still going. I wanted to make sure. Like now I'm really good at on Ravelry of putting the date that I started it. Like whereas last time I didn't think I had to, but like I have no idea when I started it. So it was somewhere in 2020. I have never been good at putting in Ravelry. The only Ravelry one I did was this one. And the and only that was for Rebecca. The only reason I want to is because at the end of the year everyone was like, Oh, I made this many of this and this and this, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I wasn't putting all of my projects in Ravelry. And so now I'm better back. So I'm like, I'm gonna know at the end of the year I haven't how many it. sweaters. Well, and I do that too now. So I do that and Ravelry, whereas last time I wasn't. I wasn't doing okay. anything. So I had no idea if it was like, because you know, if you cast something on in January or February, you get all the way to December. I'm like, did I? Was that this year? Was that last year? I have no idea what year it was. Yeah, I just start, I have a, a notebook and I have like quilting. Last year it was 2020. And then I would list all the quilts that I made, their sizes, who they were for. And then I do the same thing with my knitting. I have knitting 2020 and then I did so everything that I, mm -hmm. you know, and it usually I have the colorway I have, which, you know, why write it down when I could use Ravelry, but there's something about having that notebook yeah, and I'm, I'm, I, 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 I like to write. I'm a note person. I, 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 I still use, I'm surprised I actually use my phone to do my to-do list because everything else is usually in writing. I, this is already huge. Um, when it blocks, it's going to be. That's gonna be massive. So big. Which I, at first I was like, do I want to block it? But I'm like, yeah, I want that lace to open up. Absolutely. But it's gonna be. I blanket when I come in here and do my daily naps. <gasps> I do. I came in here one time. <laughs> daily naps. I came in here one time and it was her um, like advent calendar blanket and I was my bad went through. And I was like burned out from school. And I was like, I'm gonna take a nap right here. And mom was like, okay. And I was like passed out on her bed. <laughs> as soon as she cuddled up, I'm like, oh, you take a nap. Whenever she got my gets my advent throw, she loves it. Angel, so <sighs> you will, we will not discuss the Advent bro. <laughs> we got the same Advent last yes, year. Yes, we did. And it was so fun. And then she's like, I'm going to do Advent throw too. I'm like, perfect. It's so awesome. She's having a hard time. I have started that Advent. Literally, I have started and ripped it out 20 times. And see, if you want to do the muscle burr hat, though, it starts the same way. I know. That's why I've been putting... <laughs> that is why I've been putting off the muscle burr hat. It's because when you... Because each square, you start from the middle. So you start from like a few, that's like eight, eight stitches, eight stitches which is the same for a muscle bra. Yeah. Or whatever. But once you learn it, it's like, and everyone does all these fancy cast-ons. I literally just cast it on like normal and then just join in. Well, I'm thinking you about have doing to make the sure. circular cast-on like Stephen West was talking about. Mm. I was thinking about trying that. But I have to watch the video three or four times before I can wrap my head around it. What about, have you cast it on Magic Loop? You know what I mean? Magic I tried Loop? Magic Loop and I still... That's less fiddly. Well, and it, it's hard with all the yarn overs. Yeah. that That's where my fiddly, and then I I am not... You'll get there. I, you'll get there. Yeah, and I'm not graceful or anything like that, so I'm like poking says, myself. Says the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> and the bag maker and quilt maker. What? You're so funny. <laughs> Okay, what's your next one, Angel? Uh, it's quilting. Um, yeah. The Bajorn Bear Pattern by uh, Elizabeth Hartman. And I've got the first five of them done. And what they do, she does, is she does their um, rainbow. So oh. it, and it goes from light to dark. And it rainbows down. So this is the basically the purple-pink colorway. So this is considered the darkest the way she has them laid out. So you've got this one here. That's so cute. Brad, do you want to hold that up? I didn't know they wanted me to hold up. I got this. I got uh, not this. too close, because then you'll see all the mistakes. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> right there, that's a good one. That's cute. And then you've got that one. And there's 25 of them. Okay. And I've only got the first five done. I'm almost done with the rest of them. Who's this going to be for? Uh, me, because I, I love, love bears. I say, is she like, like oh my god, oh, you can Wow. All my strings. So if you ever have free time, I would gladly pick a quilt. I'm like, oh, have my free time. It's a sewing class, honey. And then quilting is after sewing. Well, and your, your mom's time. been uh, trying to hit me up to make quilt, too. 
Um, I would buy a quilt. I don't want to make I one. I would buy one. No, that's five what bucks. I'm saying. <laughs> You're like, bake hey, a quilt? Hey, I have five bucks in my room. Take it or leave it. Um, uh, leave no. it. <laughs> <laughs> leave it. <laughs> so if you think knitting's expensive, try sewing. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I love that. Do you want to see the other one or do you have yes. another whip? No. I do have one more whip. Well, then go ahead and do that, and then we'll okay. I'll show the the last one. Afterwards. So technically, my whip is not a whip yet. I haven't cast it on because <laughs> it's my whip. so it's my May DVD socks. It's May first. Oh yes, but okay. I had to take. I did. I was gonna. I was gonna cake it up last night and be like, look, it's already caked. Says whip. But um, I hadn't taken a picture. Could just submit. You don't have to do the picture of it still in the ball band. Mom's an overachiever. You have to do a you have to do a beginner picture and then an end picture. Okay, that makes so sense. So they know that you didn't cheat and do it during a different month. Whatever. I mean, I guess you could still cheat, but you we're, all, still we're all cool. Okay. Um, this is the here comes the Zombra Zom Bride colorway. Um, it basically is like a oh, wait, white stripe and then a white speckly stripe and then a white stripe. Oh. So it's very like. Not very, you know, it's very subtle, which I really liked. I love Desta Visit Thy Works. Yes, uh, socks. I love her stuff. I've got the, um, the one I've got is the Maleficent mm. colorway. Is that like what colors are the like purple and it's black? It's purples and blacks, and I think it's got like a, I want to say fuchsia, but that's not right. But it's like a a lilacy, pinky. Mm. It's just really cool. Mm, really so it's like she's like, and this is in my peekaboo pouch by Scrappy Angel. What? I love this thing. It's like my favorite. This is actually, and I was gonna, cause I just got my um, inside outside bag I last weekend, bag. but I was gonna use that instead. But I'm like, this is my monthly club sock bag. I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to make more this. of those. It's just they're they're a lot. They they're a lot of work. The mm -hmm. the peekaboo pouch and the inside out pouch are. They take longer because I hand sew the binding. So that's what hand takes Hand sewn. Crazy. So yeah, so this technically will be cast on tonight after I cake it up. But, um, so by the time you guys see it, it'll definitely be. Because last time we didn't podcast for a whole month, so they didn't even see me start or anything on the, the sock. Oh, I'm yeah. like, here's my finished sock. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. So I, I can't remember because I bought this like last year. So I, I think it's just like a white stripe and a white speckly stripe and then a white stripe. Or it may do like different lengths of stripe I don't really remember but that's all it is it's, it's so really subtle and pretty I really like it so that's it it's not even that exciting of a well yeah. I'm I'm excited to see what and I'll just get do, at the end yeah and I'll just do a vanilla sock that's usually what I do with the self striping usually unless I want to do something exciting which you I let the stripes the, what that's what I love about the self striping is because the stripes mm -hmm. are are the magic they, they, they knit themselves I think yeah because it looks like you did a lot of work and I really did you did. It's awesome. Yeah. I love it. All right, next quilty. So the next one is a full quilt top. We, um, I belong to a local quilt guild, and they had a mystery quilt. Um, and the mystery quilt was designed. Honey, I have strings everywhere most of the time. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not covered with them now. No, I'm just saying, like, you, like, flicked it so it landed on you. So just, like... <laughs> Usually they're down my back because I'm constantly <laughs> flicking them somewhere. Um, but they do a mystery quilt oh. every year. So what you get is you get, every month you get a clue. Mm -hmm. So you'll start and you'll work on that section of the clue and then at the end they tell you how to put all of them together. That's cool. So that you'll make a cool. block. So is this last year's? This is this year's. <gasps> it's already so big. It's done, I just have to put the backing on it and the binding. So this is just a quilt top. So wow. do you know if you do it right by the end? But when, they give you the instructions. They give you the oh, instructions. Okay. So each month, like one month was this was this block, one month was this block. So I just need to figure out. That's I don't awesome. know if you can you can see. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, so they can see it. Go on up. Go on. Yep, they got that's the bottom. And okay. I had a flat quarter um, bundle. And for those of you who don't sew or quilt, a fat quarter bundle is basically a. But like, show us something up close one. Um, is a piece of fabric that's like 18 inches by 22 inches wide. And get the little fox. I like the fox ones. Aren't they cute? And you have little hedgehog ones. I love hedgehogs. Wait, I thought you had hedgehogs. Didn't you have hedgehogs? I thought I saw some. Yeah, so they're cute. down below. They're, it's just the way they cut. Oh my gosh. Adorable. So I, I really enjoy it. And quilting, quilting is a very... I like the colors. For me, it's very relaxing, mm -hmm. and it's very... That's nice, because this looks like I would cry out of stress. <laughs> it's very therapeutic. 
And I had stopped quilting for a while because I, I was just stressed. So mm -hmm. that's why I took up knitting. Knitting seems to be kind of a zen process. I just sit and just knitting in the round while we're watching TV. It, it's almost a calming mm -hmm. effect because you're just repeating and you don't, when you're knitting in the round, mm -hmm. I mean, trust me, there's some complicated stuff out there that I haven't even tried yet, but it, there's just something calming about sitting there and doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I just think quilting's so cool, because like, imagine someone being like, oh, I love this blanket, where'd you get it from? Oh, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, it's funny, too. I'm just gonna... Sorry. Do you wanna fold it nice? We'll oh. fold it up later. Okay. <laughs> She's like, psh. I'm it's, like, it's done. You took it out all nice? Okay. But no, I, I enjoy it. Quilting, I, and I've only been quilting for about, let's see, we moved here five years ago. So I've only been quilting for about five years, too. Really? Yeah. Maybe a little I would have already given it up. I can't. I suck at crafting. You don't suck. You just, Brooke is impatient. I and can't, she, yeah. She wants to be perfect at it right away. And it's like, okay. Brooke, I'm like, when I started knitting, it, it took a while. It takes practice. Well, here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, except when it comes to my room. Everything else has to be perfect, though. My room's a mess. My locker had to be perfect. My locker would look spotless. But her room is not so spotless. It's not. I was that way too when I was your age. Everything, everything just has perfect. to be perfect. Except in my room. And it, everything has to be in its place. And apparently like for like, no, it's actually how people, that's how, mm -hmm. that's how people who are like perfectionists, how they go, because that's like their free space. So I'm like, yeah, see mom? I'm trying to make it clean my room. Um, I mean. She could be your hard ass, but I just don't talk about it. I don't talk about my room anymore. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want her to be like, you should clean it. I'll be like, oh, actually, that's a good idea, bro. Maybe this weekend. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, she's actually been doing a really good job. She's been... Like, as soon as they started doing virtual school this year, she's the one that took the initiative and was like, okay, I need to clean off my desk. Okay, I need to clean around my desk. I, okay, I need because to clean. Because then that's, you get control. It makes control. feel better. Yeah, yeah I actually, yeah. like, um, just, like, recently, like, cleaned out my closet a little bit. Now I just need to take the stuff out and, like, put it in spots where they are. But overall, it's actually, like, cleaning. She's doing a lot better. So, uh, yeah, skill me. Okay. That makes, that makes You're me doing a lot great. better, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all for my whips. Did you have any more? No, that was it. Right, oh acquisitions. This is where mom thrives, but not today. This is where you thrive. I have another sad face, but I actually have one acquisition. You do have one acquisition. Do you want to show it? I do want to show it. Okay. Whiskers and Stitches has a new, a brand new, I'm going to get a thing. Don't do this thing. A brand new, what do you call it? Item? What do you call it? Yeah. I would call it an, an item. item. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to, oh, it's, it's actually attached to this. She's so cute. It is a stitch marker keeper. Yes. Right? Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I haven't even played with it yet because Angel brought I was like, okay, Holly, give it. I'm going to order this, and then you're going to give it to Angel when you see her, and then Angel's going to bring it to me. <laughs> like, had this whole thing. Yeah, the kids came over for dinner. I was like, please Sunday. don't ship it. I like, Angel's going to come to my house. Save the shipping fee. You're good. Oh my gosh. So it opens like, how would you say? What is it more like? Um, a clip. But like a binder clip, but not ones that snap, right? Right. I, I'm not really sure how to describe it. I love them, and I didn't know I needed one mm -hmm. until I got one. Because right. what I do is I have all of my stitches. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I have the ring that holds all of my stitch markers. Right and I keep the ring. But I take the ring off, and mm -hmm. I hang. I have a little hook in my in my uh, craft room, and I hang that on there. And then I use the the bottom part here, mm -hmm. this part right here. And I'll show you. So what I do is I actually take the ring off and have all of my stitch markers on it, and then I have it hanging on a clip. And then I keep this, and that is where unless I have um, not stitch mark. What am I trying to say? Not the stitch markers that clip. But the ones that are solid, I leave on this, and then I'll leave this together if I use those. But if I use stitch markers or like a progress keeper, I put them all this, and I throw this in my bag. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah that's smart. Um, and then that way I have, I know exactly where all my stitch markers are mm -hmm. at one time. Yeah. I really like now, so she's so great because you get to basically custom these things. So she gives you on her website all the different ribbons that she has and also like the wide ribbon and a smaller ribbon and you tell her which ones you want. Absolutely. Yeah. I basically custom ordered these. So this one is really cool because it has like, it's like faux leather. This smaller one is like a faux leather. So I'm trying not to, it's like the light. Um, it's really pretty. I'm so excited. So this one's for me. Don't get too excited, but I did order another one for a giveaway. So this is the one for the giveaway. So pretty. 
It's got like little daisies. I was trying to be kind of neutral since this is for other people because you know me, I want color. But also some whiskers and stitches stitch markers. Oh, that's like a tongue twister right there. Yeah. What's that? And those are also for a giveaway. These right? are yes, these are like a whole rainbow assortment. I didn't know what anybody wanted, so I got basically her whole rainbow set. It's so pretty. So I'm actually and they gonna come in that set. So if you order yes. them from her, you get it that whole set. This is a whole set you can purchase. And it's got all the rainbow colors. I figure it's still great, like when I'm you're doing lace work or something. So for example, this is your stitch marker keeper. And that's how they would sit on the stitch marker keeper. Isn't that fun? I love this idea. That's such a good, so inventive, whiskers and stitches, Holly. Oh my goodness. Okay, but the gummy bears are not part of the giveaway. This is the giveaway with these stitch markers. So a little color rainbowy set. If you have, if you have a scrappy angel bag, which one is your favorite? If you don't, which one do you think you would like to get? Um, because we do have all the sizes and we'll probably We'll go through them probably at the end. Yep, so to get that giveaway, go ahead and comment below what Scrappy Angel bag is your favorite. Even if you have one or not, or maybe you want a new one that you really want to try. Okay. And make sure you subscribe as well to be entered into the giveaway. Brooke likes it when you guys subscribe to it. <laughs> She's like, I'm and give a thumbs up. That's it's right. a nice, like, fair thing. It they is. And also subscribe, they can make the yeah. Right. And this and the giveaway is open to anywhere. I don't mind shipping it. it. If it's international though, it will just take longer <laughs> to get to you. Yeah. But I will ship it anywhere. It's not a big deal. And it's small, so it's totally easy to ship. Oh my goodness. Acquisitions people. Acquisitions. Hold on to your seats. <laughs> because I went a little bit crazy at LYS last week. Um, and I think actually if they watched your vlog, you might have seen some of the stuff that mm -hmm. I have purchased already. <laughs> So, I got, and they're all in my blanket tote. Blanket tote. Do you sell so, blanket totes? I do. Yes. They're going to be in the next update. I have one too. You do? Yeah. I think all you girls have one. Yeah. That was like the, that oh, was, that, that was, was actually one of the first bags I threw in my, That's right. my That's first right. update. I remember that. My first update, yeah. It's got a blanket in it. So... <laughs> This I purchased, I was walking by and I saw this. This is three Irish girls, but I just loved the colors. Did you want to hold those mm -hmm. out? Okay. And of course I got four skeins because I had four skeins um, for the boxy that I'm doing and I've almost got a full skein still to go. Interesting. And I'm doing like the middle, so I don't know if it's, maybe it's my gauge. Could be. Because I didn't even swatch. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Uh, not for that. I was like, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna be big. Anyways. It's a boxy. It's gonna be huge. And I'm sorry, I was not gonna make the size that had ten inches of positive ease mm -mm. on this body. Ten inches of positive ease is not a pretty sight. So, I'll let you hold those. Mm -hmm. yeah, Actually, I'll, I'll let you yeah, hold oh, those. Yes, because you have to be showing me. Oh, so I was like, oh, get the photo. So the next thing I got, I got sweater oh, quantities. Oh, I remember this. Um, I remember this. So I got so three skeins of the Stellar J, and this is knitted wit because why not? We love knitted wit. Is that in the sport weight again? Yeah, it's in sport. Yes, this is in sport. It's kind of getting blown up by that light. Brooke. Yeah, I know. Step I'm back a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Oh, that's so pretty. That royal blue is so royal. It is. So I got three skeins of the Stellar uh, Stellar Joy J, Stellar J, and then I got two skeins of this royal because I thought the royal would just be mm -hmm. something fun. Like if if I could do a sweater in that, then I think to do the variegated one as the body and mm -hmm. then have like the royal as like a collar or the cuffs on a sweater or anything like that. I think that would be just stunning. So pretty. So, sorry. Yep, nope, oh. They're I'm mine. Okay. I am going home I with mean, those. I mean, if they don't make it back in your bag, it'll be <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing I got, which actually was something that you purchased, because I, I always, if there's an update, this chick's gonna miss it. Um, so Kim's like, I'm getting on, I'm looking at Lollipop, does anybody want anything? And I love the idea, and I got the idea from Stranded, Stranded Podcast, mm -hmm. where she does the 25 um, Christmas socks. So she has the 25, so every day she has Christmas socks. Socks of socks or something like that? Right. She so, makes a sock, she makes a pair of socks every day? No. Well, 
To wear every day. To wear. Oh. So like she, oh, she, she she does twenty five. So like for Christmas she does she has twenty five different socks oh. that she has made. So oh. she has one a day okay. that le- leads up to Christmas. Right. So of course, I have to take that one step further, and I started a box of Halloween socks to wear. Now I'm doing it to where I have one for all thirty one days. That's awesome. That's cool. Well, then of course you can't stop there. So then I got Valentine's Day yarn for socks, and then we got the St. Patrick's, the Day. St. Patrick's Day, which is this green, which I forgot what I think it's um, Blarney. Blarney. This is Blarney from Lollipop Yarn, and I I love this, Lollipop Yarn. I'm so excited, and we ordered this. I don't know how many. It's been a couple March, months. Yeah. yeah. So Kim ordered those for me because she got. I on, also got Blarney. And she got Blarney. And then um, I was like, okay, I can pay you cash or I can pay you a bag. And she was like, like, I'll take the bag. Uh, bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, perfect. So then we just uh, split shipping. And it's like right. the same anyway. So it's totally. But Lollipop Yarn. Up, yeah. That's by Lollipop. She. Do you want me to hold up the. Oh, yeah. The tag. Sorry. If okay. you know Lollipop Yarn, her updates are amazing, but they also sell out really fast. So. It, and I never, like, I missed the Lola Bean Yarn Company. I missed mm. that one yesterday. And then um, I think I missed uh, Aaron's Amplifiber Yarn last time. I oh, missed her yeah. update the last time. I forgot what we were doing. Mom doesn't miss anything. So the last thing I purchased. I said alarms. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I'm also another alarm. And I'm like, Mom, it's two minutes before. Actually, what not the last thing I purchased. Like, you're watching Winx. But what was I getting on for? What was, was it? Um, was it amplifier? Ha! Huh. Might have been amplifier. Okay, let me bring out this one too. Sorry, I have bags for days, people. Love it. Um, so the last thing I bought at LYS was a that. sweater quantity of Uptown Worsted. I love Uptown Worsted. So and soft. they're silver gray because I am making a flax sweater for my husband. That's me so soft. It is. It feels super soft. Oh, I love Uptown. I did bring mine. Woohoo! Yay! So there's mine. Oh, that's her stitch marker keeper from Whiskers and Stitches. So you don't have to get the thin um, ribbon on the actual big ribbon. Brooke, if you no, you that. don't. And I, everybody who knows me knows unicorns. I love unicorns. I absolutely adore unicorns. I always have. And you would think you would outgrow that. No, not so much. No. Um, so yeah, I am gonna make the flax cardigan. I don't want to give anything away. So smart, smart angel. There you go. So that's what I'm making for my husband. Again, late to the party, people. I know everybody has made one of these. I have it. Um, you have it? I want to make. Yeah, no, I have it. But everybody says they're amazing. So and he picked it out, and he's just he's a very simple guy and simple color. I bet Damon would like a flax. So, do you want to toss all those oh, in here? I mean... Yeah, give them back, okay. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be eyeballing my bags when I get home. <laughs> You're like, let me go go through and count. Make sure I have it off. I'm going to put this one behind okay. here. And then um, the last two Oh, show things. this bag. Did you show this bag? This is another blanket tote, but I love this. You have this fabric in the shop, don't you? Um, I think it, you have a couple. No. Or they sell out? They're gone. Oh, okay. I think Sorry. I, I have... <laughs> I think I have enough of the fabric left to where I can make um, an inside out pouch and that's about oh, okay. it and then it's it's completely gone. Um, so pretty. So the last two things <gasps> oh I've my got goodness. are the new Nomadic Knits I want to get that. Magazine. I started ordering them last year so I've missed the first three because I love having an actual mm-hmm. And I think, don't book. they have download codes at the, at the end of those ones? Um, I don't know about Nomadic Knits, but other books do. Uh, I think Nomadic Knits do. I just don't know where it is. Why right do you have that stuff in the back? Like just blank pages. That's for helping you with designing or something? And notes. You can oh, take notes. That's and smart. Like if you're like making that's adjustments smart. or something. That's smart. So it's it's really nice. Um, so I love I love these. I get these. Is that the new one that just came out? Yeah. Yes. This is the Iowa and Nebraska. And then, of course, I went to um, I went to drop off a bag for a customer at Needles in the Haymarket, and I saw strand strands of joy. I keep wanting to say strands of love, but 
Printing. Strands Str- <laughs> of joy. So I have that, and then I have a few things marked in there that um, are for dream knitting. So when we get Ooh, to that, we we'll start talking about And you about can show that. the pictures for those without the pattern. So, and then in this one, I have... I'm, like, still crying from Brooks. <laughs> she said something. Shenanigans over really here. Funny. <laughs> it she is, accidentally misspoke and she said something else and it was hilarious and now I'm crying. I think we're on dream knitting now, right? Are you done with acquisitions? I'm done with acquisitions. Dream knitting. Okay, so last Ooh. time one of the patterns I highlighted was the All Read Cardigan. I'm probably saying that really wrong. By Meiju KP. I'm probably saying that wrong as well. But, um, and one of our lovely viewers, I love this part when you guys comment below and like, you know, interact with me about what we saw on the podcast. And someone had said um, that they had actually knit a bunch of Meiju's patterns and they're amazing. And I was like, oh, oh really? Wow. Okay. I'm like, okay, let me go look. And then I went down the Meiju KP rabbit hole of patterns and I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many. Like I didn't actually look, I just saw her, that one pattern. I didn't actually look at the designer. There, are, So basically all of my dream knitting are gonna be Meiju KP patterns. Oh wow. Um, the first up, which is hard to believe right now because it's like getting summer here, but it is the Pilvenin sweater. I'm gonna show it. Oh my gosh, Brooke. Yes. You're gonna show this for me. I'm just trying to find the right picture I wanna show. Look at those sleeves. <gasps> oh. oh. It yes. looks so like soft and like squishy. Plush. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the length of sleeves on that. I love those kinds of sleeves. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I, that color is really I cool. actually prefer a sweater when I knit mm-hmm. it, and I'm short. I'm I'm five three on a great day, um, but I love having my sweaters come to like just here. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, it just it makes me feel cozy. Mm-hmm. You want to show that the sleeve detail right there? That's what the, that's actually the picture on the pattern. That's what I clicked on. So I'm like, I love those sleeves, and I like how I like the length of the. I probably make mine. A, Titch longer only because I'm taller and that would probably hit me like a crop top but I like where it hits her so I, I like that see and that to me would would drive me nuts I, the I need, length of the yeah I need it to be I prefer I make mine, mine a little lower yeah I need mine I like mine hip mid hip or mm-hmm. lower yeah oh I'm just getting all weird and then another so you or do you want to try I think we'll just do all, all one time. go for it mine are all the KP but well, Meiju KP I don't even know if I'm saying that right the Koivu cardigan. I'm putting all these on the screen because I'm probably saying them all wrong. I'm sorry, Meiju, if that's even how you say it. I'm probably butchering everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this cardigan, this is the best picture, and it's on. This is the back of the cardigan. <gasps> oh my! Isn't that pretty? That oh is gosh. stunning. I might have to add that to yes. my cube too. The Koivu. That like lace paneling down the back is amazing. And then the front is. Just like a, it looks like it's just like a standard um, cardigan front, yeah. Which okay. is also cute. I think it'd be like a great work cardigan, like whenever we go See, back into the office. Yeah, I'd leave the buttons off. Yeah, I'm not a button person. Because I don't, I w- I don't button my cardin, mm-hmm. card cardins. My yeah, cardigans. I never button mine either. So I would, def- I would leave mine off. Plus, it's less work. Exactly. <laughs> That's also my exactly. Because like, I'm, I'm not gonna use I'm, them anyways. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna use them anyways. I don't want to do that. Uh, the next one for Meiju that I love is the, which the viewer actually um, knit one of these, I believe, in between Dreams Pullover. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. There's like a little button. I would probably put the little I button on I would put the there. button on that The one, little yeah. button. So here's just like a close up of the lace detail. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. And that color is pretty too. And in a lot of her sweaters, I really like the shaping that she does. Like, there's some that are more form-fitting than others, but she does a really good job with, like, how she shapes them. Like, so she you know? does waist shaping on it? I mean, it looks to me like she does. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That or that lady has a great figure. She One of the two. She probably does. So here's the back. I love the back, the little hole with the, the, with button. the button. It's, it's elegant. It's mm-hmm. got an elegance to it. So pretty. And I think there's also a cardigan version of that, too. Which I also like. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, and then the last one I'm going to show, which I think, okay, so you know how I know the Amplifiber Brown yarn I got last time? I really wanted, I only had three skeins, so I'm like trying to figure it out. I'm like, that wasn't the Tri T, was it? No, it was the Red Canyon Rock. Okay. I think it was. Okay. Um, 
so pretty, but I was like, I only got three skates because I lost three. And I wanted to do something like a top. I'm thinking this. I love this cardigan. Look That's at that. pretty too. And oh, I looked look. at the yardage. You can do two size sleeves. Yeah, I or would do length, I would do I would do this length or shorter. Probably this length. I like three quarter. I like the I like the half or whatever. What is this called? Three quarter? Three quarter. I like the three quarter. I think that would be cute. Cause I and I also really liked I'm not even showing any of that guys. Um the like how it's kind of loose right here. I kinda like that. Yeah, I always like a loose arm like, because, again, I have okay, big arms. I'm talking about it. I'm not even showing it to you guys. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to show you. I like this. It's called October Spirit. That's pretty. That is very pretty. I really like how, like, loose it is right in here. I would probably do the buttons for those because there's only three and it looks like it kind of needs it. The only thing is I normally don't do cardigans with those, with like, comes like that because, like, to have it open looks a little... I really like it, so I might just do it. And I like, there's the back. I like how loose it is, like how it's not super tight. So pretty, oh my gosh. Love that pattern. Love all, I love this designer, now I'm like obsessed. And there's so much more too, guys. You should, you should go look it up. All right, that's it for my dream day. Okay. So mine, I'm gonna start with, this is of course in the Strands of Love. I Strand love- there we go again. Um, I Ooh. am so sorry. My my mouth does not work with my brain a lot. That's but so this is uh, the Maja. What, Maja? Maja or Maya? Maya uh -oh. cardigan. And I just love how long it is. I, yes. you know, you would think somebody who's short usually doesn't wear things that are very long because it makes them look shorter. But mm -hmm. there is something about a long cardigan. Um, sometimes I wear it as a coat because mm -hmm. it goes all the way down to my knees. I mean, it goes down to mid thigh on this lady and who knows how tall she mm -hmm. is. So more than likely it's either going to be at my knees or below my knees. So I absolutely love that. That looks thick like it could be a jacket too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. And I, I kind of like the buttons on that one. I, again, I, I don't know. I might try <laughs> buttons one time. I don't know. It's okay. She said only if you only if you like how it looks and if it like... But like just to put them on every cardigan, I don't. I generally leave yeah, it open. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. So this one is the Everything's Coming Up Roses. Oh, that's pretty. I like the shaping of that too. I do too. And I like the fact that it's wider on the bottom because mm -hmm. I'm wider on the bottom. Me too. So most people it, are. It, well, <laughs> I, yeah, I think most women are. Yeah. We, we've got hips mm -hmm. and I've got them. So I just I just like that. And it looks like it's, it's pretty and that detail just mm -hmm. adds a little something special to it. This Ooh. one took my breath away. Looks so cozy. When I saw it. And it's really cozy and it's got a um, a cowl neck. I'm trying to see if they have a picture of it. It looks so soft. From oh behind. my gosh. So um, if you could show this, but not this. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, one page has a chart on the side, so we're just going to like make sure we don't show that so I just I look at this and I think a beautiful peach so pretty mm -hmm. a beautiful <gasps> peach with like a, a soft baby blue almost oh, as the good. as the um, work so here I'll just that'd be so pretty put your finger between there hun. oh yeah there okay. so and I forgot I think it's look how soft scroll. that looks let me mm -hmm. I don't know what it says is the pattern name. Oh, yeah. What is the pattern name? Mohair Fudge. Mohair Fudge. <gasps> That's okay. cute. That is cute. That's a cute name. I had to read it backwards. Oh, it's really good, Brooke. Now, don't show the chart. Yeah. I can also cut it if you guys don't want to. All right. Well, good thing it's on this side. It's easier. Yeah. There so I just love... It literally took my breath away because I do not like turtlenecks. Anything mm -hmm. tight around my neck. Yeah, I'm the same way. Just, I, I'm, I'm constantly pulling at it. Mm -hmm. But a cowl neck uh, sweater is my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. it, so those are those are my dream knitting. And I think- Is that it? The, That's so pretty. Yeah, I think this mohair fudge is going to be um, my next cast on after I do the Happy Knits uh, make along. Which you're gonna talk about. Which, yes. I think, does that segue into podcasts? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so go ahead and talk. So, Angel is, of course, a lover of happiness like me. Yes. And I actually heard about happiness from you. I mean, you, I happiness and peace for love peace. Happiness. 
crafting because Michael mm. is, you know, hilarious. Love him and beautiful. He's just he he's his voice is very nice. Yes, <laughs> I I love watching him. Michael. We love you. <laughs> I love watching him because he starts talking and I just watch it and I'm just like, huh. And his knitting, his color choices. It's just beautiful. Are amazing. It's just beautiful. But, yeah. His and kinship shawl that he just did. I know. I was, like, so striking. I his know. His new pictures of that, he's on the beach or something. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Such, so, so, such I good pictures. I, I look at him and I'm like, oh. Good job, Michael. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, Happy Knits. I love Happy Knits. Um, Which is also hilarious. I laugh out loud on Happy Knits. I do, too. Because her interaction with Jordan, her son, is so funny. It reminds me of both my boys. Adorable. So bad. It really does. The, the faces he makes, I'm like, oh, yeah. I know exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> love that. They're so... It, she's... It's awesome. Like, she, she... And she's just... She's just a beautiful soul. Mm. She, she really is. She's very kind. Um, she's very generous with her... Her time and just her in general. She's just if you if you don't watch her, you're missing out completely. Check out happiness, Yolanda and Jordan. We love you, Yolanda. <laughs> <laughs> so and of course, you know, she's having a make along. Yes. And my husband being the saint that he is, when I started knitting, he went out and he bought all these kits for me. She would bring them into knit night. You're like, oh, I made this kit my husband got me. And we're like, who is this husband of yours? And yeah. he needs to call our husbands. Although mine is actually really Your, Yours is good Yarn too. Yarn enabler. But he didn't buy me a whole bunch of kits. So, so he bought me four sweater kits. And I've gotten, for, I've got the one that I showed earlier, mm -hmm. the Sadie sweater. Um, and then the one that I finished, the Nazumi mm -hmm. one. And then there's one other one I finished that I didn't bring. You um, also had a shawl. He bought you a lot of kits. Yes, uh, three shawls. So oh I had three shawl kits and I had four sweater kits. I mean, he just, he was wow. like, this, go for it. Do what you want. That's so awesome. this is, she's doing a, a make along for a cardi, a cardigan. Mm -hmm. And you get to pick your own yarn. You get to pick your own pattern. And, and your own style. So it's a make along because you can crochet. Right. You can, knit. you can knit. Actually, if you follow her on Instagram, she was talking mm. about it this morning. Now I haven't caked up anything yet or done my swatch, but I, I pulled this out. So this is the birch sweater. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a duster sweater. Can I show? Can I show these numbers? Right you here? can show everything there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brooks. Look, look at that. She didn't like. She's she's been, knowing. She knows all this stuff. That's so true. I just I just love it, and there's some lace detail on the shoulders. If I can, I'll, I'll pull out if I see the picture in there. But um, pretty. I got it, of course, because. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's in black because I love a black. Well, you cardigan. love black, but especially in this pattern. I, so was, oh, it came really with cloud, the Cloudborn Superwash Merino. That was with the kit, is what that came with. I might go a little blind, but you'll be okay. Yeah, but <laughs> what I wanted to do was I wanted to add this. This is a dream. Oh, dream in color. Duh, I do have some. <laughs> so, I, loved, I was like, mind, it looks like dream in color yeah. label. Don't mind the that. blonde. Don't mind the blonde. <laughs> she, she'll just sit over here. But um, this is in her, it's called Classy Black. And I thought this would be great for the, the cuffs and the collar yeah, that would and be. around. Mm -hmm. And it would just mm -hmm. add a little something besides the black. It's soft. I don't think I've ever touched cloud worn. So that is my, um, that's going to be, I'm going to wind up and. So how many of these did you get? I got two of those, but yeah, I just, I just thought it would be really pretty. And I, I'm usually, I, I love jumping on a make a, a make along or a knit along. Mm -hmm. I'm not the best at finishing them on time. I'm usually, I start and I keep working mm -hmm. on it through the whole time, but then it takes me longer to knit, but I never do them for the prizes. I always do them to be in the groove. Mm -hmm. So the, the next make along starts June 1st and that's with the um, Needles at the Ready guys. What are they doing? Kevin and Ray usually, last year they did uh, Let's Hear It for the Boys mm -hmm. oh. and I think they're going to do it again this that's year. Cool. That's a good idea. And so it's a Let's Hear It for the Boys that they did and you, you pick a pattern by a man, a yarn dyed by a man, or you're knitting something for a man. And, um, so you can only have to pick one of those things. No, you can pick them all. You can do, but mm -hmm. if you like, I could cast on the sweater I'm knitting for my husband. Oh yeah. So that would be uh, let's hear it for the boys, or I could go down the rabbit hole of all the Stephen West patterns that I have. Oh my goodness. 
and uh, knit one of those up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I think that's cool are, how they're doing that. Yeah, I do too. I think it's it's really mm -hmm. nice. And that's why I started um, with fabrics too that are more generic. Mm -hmm. Not generic, but um, gender fluid, Unisex. I guess. You could, yeah. So that way everybody can do it. But mm -hmm. yeah, needles at the ready. Oh my God, Kevin and Ray. Angel um, loves that. I love Kevin and Ray. <laughs> um, it's so funny because I'll be watching them and my husband comes in and he's like, oh, you're watching your boyfriends again. And I'm like, well, they're a little young for me, but they are adorable. And they got me, they literally got me through last year with all the, oh. the family stuff that was going on. So it was nice to have a something that just made you Weren't smile. Weren't they the ones that did the bingo? No. Oh, bingo was Fiber Hustle. Fiber Hustle. So I heard about... So. I hear about all my different podcasts from other podcasters. So, like, when you were talking about starting a podcast, you were like, oh, I love Happy Knits, and she does this. And I was like, so I had to start watching her. And then Peace for Peace, mm -hmm. Crafting, as I found through you. I found Kevin and Ray when it was episode one. Kevin was just, he did it by himself. Really? Yeah, so I, I started from day one. I started watching him because I was looking up other podcasts because I was watching... Um, Stranded podcast mm -hmm. and the Grocery Girls, um, but then I found Kevin and I was like, oh, let's see what's going on there. And then Ray came in and then they started talking about Fiber Hustle. So then I went to Fiber Hustle and I started watching Fiber Hustle and oh my God, Chip and Aaron, that is like two sides of me <laughs> because you've got Aaron who knits and then you've got Chip who sews and quilts and it's like, oh, I can, you know, I've got both my loves in one. There you go. And then they started talking about. Um, Sweet Tea No Shade. I like them too, yeah. And so I started watching no them. Shade. So, you know, and then The Bearded Pearl. But um, Kevin and Ray, they, they were my, my first uh, real podcast that wasn't a big name. Okay. You know, that I watched. That I just, I just adored it. It was just, it was fun. It was mm -hmm. fun to see their interaction and, you know, Ray's a new knitter and watching Kevin help mm -hmm. him and stuff like that. And then... Um, when Happy Knit started, then Boozy Bears started following me. So I started watching them, and oh my God, they're from Buffalo. My husband's from Buffalo. So I it cracks me up because when Vince starts talking, it almost sounds like my father-in-law's, the, the, the <laughs> accent like and everything. Really, yeah. yeah. So so the, those are my podcasts. Those are my, those are my staples. Those are my ones that I, I literally, as soon as they're on, Mm -hmm. Well, and then of course, I mean, my girls, <laughs> my girls, you know, that, that's Hello. My, <laughs> you forgot to mention one. No, I'm just kidding. No. My, my, uh, sweet pea and chickadee are my, uh, my girls. I, I definitely support them. So we have a lot of fun. It's a good time. Is that all the podcasts you wanted to highlight? Uh, yeah. And all I, your make alongs. Yeah. I, I was going to say, because I was like, I saw that she was doing, I'm like, I don't know. I didn't have any cardigan really planned for right now, but I'm like, actually, I have that yarn. I just found that October Spirit from Meiju. Maybe I'll make that as my cardigan for the Make Along for Happy Knits. I'm like, what is fingering weight? That's my only thing. I'm like, it's fingering weight. But I also want to make the Felix cardigan. Yes, I've heard. I've seen that. And that's thicker yarn, so it wouldn't take as long. Right. Um, I, and I might even have yarn for that, or I have to go buy, I have to go buy some more. But, so well, I, after this, of, you can come with me to needles. <laughs> Enabling. I know. Arms. I was like, I was like trying to stay away this weekend. So I'm like, I'll get it later. So I'm like, if I go there, I'm gonna buy the poncho set, Dream in Color or non show, oh, non show set. I'm totally poncho. getting. I'm, I'm like, to, I'm totally getting. Don't need it. I you don't see either. all my yarn. That's not even all of it. I I went out. <laughs> I have a whole storage system. We went out yesterday because I had to buy more angels. I spent a hundred and eighty dollars on angels yesterday. Dang. And they were all fifty percent off. <laughs> and that, I still spent all. Do you buy money. a lot of them, or yeah, because they're hard to find. The little angels that she puts on her bags. On all my bags, they're hard to find. Every time I go somewhere, they're they're not there. Ooh, yeah, someone loves them. So, okay, so my podcast I want to highlight. I recently found Noble Character Crafts, which a lot of people I've heard that before, and someone else mentioned. It. I'm like, oh, it finally came across my YouTube feed. Oh, okay. Whatever. She is Amy from Nebraska, and she's a mom of five kids. Wow. And she homeschools. Uh -oh. And she has time to like, she makes bags and also like knits and stuff. And she used to dye yarn, but not anymore. But I was like, oh my gosh. You got, she had long, beautiful hair, like super long. Oh my God. Beautiful. I want my hair to be that long. Yeah, you and me both. I also love her intro of, of her podcast. Like a nice, relaxing music. There's always scenery, like new scenery from oh, where fun. she's at. She sounds like she's a, you know, a total underachiever. I mean, yeah, she hardly yeah. does anything. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> she's so, and she's very like, 
I don't know, like she enunciates everything, which I, I speed through a lot of stuff, so I need to get better at that, but she's very clear when she's speaking, which I, I do like and appreciate, because I know how hard it is, because I don't, I don't do a I hardly job speak of clearly, it. Because I'm usually like, mm -hmm. I get so excited, and then it's yeah. just blah. Mm -hmm. I can't help that. I mean, this is actually kind of probably slow for me, and it's still too fast. Like, sometimes I'm watching this back during editing, and I'm like, what were you saying? <laughs> I can barely understand you, and I know what I'm saying. Um, the next one, um, and I think actually, Amy, Noble Character Character Craft has a new episode. Another one that has a new episode is Tea with Nikki. I love her. She's from London. And I um, the love the accent. And she knits a lot of different things, which I also like. And she's just funny. And she's got she's got a great um podcast as well. Like just like the whole setup and everything and the lights and like the, the transitions. Like it just it's very nice. Mm -hmm. And she's funny. She... And she always has a different tea every time, oh, which she talks fun. about. I'm like, I want to do all this different kinds of tea, but... And I have happiness with my other one, but we already talked about Yolanda. I love yeah. her. Because she did have a new episode last, last week. week. yeah. Which I'm like, yes. Whenever yeah. she has a new episode, I'm cried. like, put it on. I cried watching it because, because Jordan and Jordan his... got his bag. Like, he got... I, was, I showed Rick. I'm like, look, Jordan got one too. So I feel like they should know each other, but they don't. Yeah, so... I want to do probably the cardigan make along, maybe... I want to do because I don't. Every time she has one, I want to jump in. Like she just had a really cool shawl uh, knit along. Yes. But I was like, I already have enough shawls. I was late to that bandwagon. And I'm like, so it's okay. But then the next one, I'm like, oh, cardigan. I could always make a cardigan, but it wasn't like in my next queue to like. But I don't even know why. I'm not really a planner. I just do whatever I want. I should, I and I think she's giving us till like July 15th, which is my birthday. July 30th. I thought it was the end. No, is it? Maybe it is July. I don't know. Sometime in July. So you still get plenty of time. May 1st of July. It's still plenty of time. But the one I was thinking of was fingering weights. I'm like, eh. Because we all know me. I'm still knitting my Sunset Highway <laughs> from last year. <laughs> it's fingering weight. And it is a full sweater. So I figure if it's a cropped cardigan, that'd be okay. Right. It'd be faster. But maybe I'll just get yarn and do the Felix. Do that. Mm. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. But also, we're doing a knit along. I say we. Uh, I was going to jump on the um, strings attached knit along that their podcast I just found and I'm binging all of their stuff. They're so cute. Mallory and Frida. It's a mother daughter. Oh my you should you should totally watch it. Okay. Angel. Mallory's a, is the grown up daughter who okay. knits and sews. They all do all of the stuff. And Frida knits and sews, but she sews like clothes, stuffed oh. animals, quilts. But she's like, Yeah, I made this shirt this morning. It was like a regular blouse. Why did I make this shirt this morning? She's I can't I can't do clothes. I can amazing. Do, I can do doll clothes. But for me, she made like stuff for her that. grandchildren. Like they have tons of grandchildren. She made a full dress. I was like, oh, this is my dress I made this whatever's week or wow. whatever. So you would like it because she has a lot of sewing stuff. That was, you should check it look, out. I'll have to look at yeah, that. Yeah, they're one. really they're really cute and sweet to each other. So I told Brooke, I'm like, they're really sweet to each other. Yeah, we'll pet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Brooke's sweet to me. But yeah, they're really cute. They're really interactions. Really adorable. And the grown up daughter Mallory, she has twin girls, like oh. babies. They're so cute. Wow. I found one on one of the podcasts. So cute. Anyways, they're having a anyways, they're having a knit along for the Autumn League pullover okay. by somebody. Oh, somebody? Two nice. of wands. I'm like two of wands, autumn league pullover. And I want to jump on that bandwagon and I want to order the same yarn because it calls for like this Lion Brand cotton denim oh, yarn. Okay. And I want to get that. And it's like this cute. Did you not see my last podcast, Angel? I did. I watched the last podcast. I cried when book, cr book, Brooke cried. Brooke. <laughs> it was so funny because uh, Angel messaged me. She's like, Brooke made me cry. I told Brooke and Brooke was like, she made me cry. <laughs> it was so cute, you guys. You guys are adorable. This one. It was funny. pull over. So I want to oh, make that. that. Oh. I love that like sweatshirt looking. Yes, I want to make that too. V, yeah. So anyways, they're having a little make-along. But they're going to be long because they like don't want to have to. Well, Frida, the mom, doesn't want to have to knit it too fast. It's like, so they're going to be like two to three months. Oh, okay. So I'm like, oh, I can totally do that. So I'm going to do, and I think that's starting June though. June, okay. So I can get started on the cardigan make-along of Happy Knits. You see, I'm like working this through right now while on camera. This is my plan. But I also need to make this pink top well, for Rook. Okay, so question. You did the slip extravaganza. Yes. Last year with Stephen West. Yes. When does he usually come out with those? That's a fall thing. I Is think okay? we. I think it was during November. Okay. I want to say like we. I per like I bought it. It got ready for it in October. I want to say, and it was like. Maybe it was October. Oh my gosh! I can't remember because I. I want to do. I'm. I have a hard time doing things that I don't see ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Um. 
And I was like, but I, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone, and I think I'm going to join. If he, do, if he does another one mm -hmm. this year, I think I'm going to do it. Mystery Night Along. Yeah. He also, and he does give you some clues. Like, he gave us, like, I think he gave us three of his previous patterns that it's going to be similar to this. Okay. Similar in size to this, similar like this. And so we kind of knew it would be ginormous, and we knew kind of a setup. That's it. Okay. And he did tell you, give you a clues of how to pick your color choices, like you want. This, this, and this would be preferable. Blue, but, blue, and blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do, so it was really, but even each week, like, you don't get to see it until, like, he releases the clue. Okay. And then you still don't even know what it's looking like. It just tells you how to do it? It tells you how to do it. Unless oh, it's a chart. Fun. There's a chart in there, then you can see it, kind of, but it's not even, like, well, the whole thing. Then don't you see people, some people's stuff? Do they always say, like, spoilers and there's something? Yeah, people will... Post, spo uh, post spoilers usually towards like the end of the week or there's like okay. the ones that finish really quick and so they'll like spoiler alert you know swipe through if you want to see what it looks like after you're done right but it's so cool to be knitting something and not knowing it's kind of cool. i'm gonna try that because a lot most of the time what i do is like with the the quilt where we did the mystery knit along or mystery knit along mystery quilt along mm -hmm. um i waited till we had all the clues hmm. and then i went back and did everything well, there you go because i i i i wanted to see where the fabric was placed mm -hmm. and that I think is a lot of why with the um, the mystery knit alongs I've been kind of shy because it's like I know the colors will go together mm -hmm. but if if you've got similar like a, a medium and a dark you don't want them yeah mm -hmm. am I making sense yeah yeah no you're making sense I know because I would go back if I could redo it I would have although the thing is I use stash I was really proud of that because I didn't have I only bought the patterns all I had to do was buy the pattern and if I wasn't using stash, I would have gone through because my main color was the lavender. I would have swapped that out for like a neutral. Like okay. with Stephen West, it's really good to have one color that's more of a neutrally because then the other brighter colors can play out. Like okay. It, kind of because right now mine looks really colorful, which I still like. But um, I think it would have been better if that was like a tan or okay some kind of neutral or it could be like black or gray, which a lot of people do. But um, so I probably would change that next time. But I didn't have that anyways. I didn't have those cream color and sash mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah, I think when I do the Let's Hear It for the Boys, I'm going to do the Starflake shawl. I want to make the star blanket eventually. Well, see, I'm, the, I'm, I'm so weird. My husband, again, my saint, um, mm -hmm. bought me a second Christmas tree because I wanted to knit Christmas ornaments. He's adorable. So he's like, you knit all your ornaments and you, you stick them on that tree. So I thought, and I hope this doesn't offend Mr. West, but um, I thought if I did the star uh, shawl, mm -hmm. then I could use that as the tree skirt. Ooh, why would that offend him? Because I'm throwing a shawl that he... No, what are you you're like using as a decorative piece? I love that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. cute. So, like, I, I just thought, because then, you know, it could go underneath the tree mm -hmm. and it would be really pretty. So you'd have that, then you'd have all the knitted ornaments, and then That'd I would really pretty. do, yeah. if I could find like a knitted angel or a crocheted angel oh, yeah. to put at the top. Are you going to do like um, holiday colors? Um, yeah, I was thinking either a red and green or like a, um, like a red variegated with a solid green Ooh. or, you know, something like that. I haven't, I haven't decided and I haven't found the actual That'd be pretty. yarn. Mm -hmm. That'd be really pretty. All right, cool. That's all for podcasts, but let's talk about your next update, Angel. So exciting. So, yeah, my next update is going to be May 8th, which I know is um, before Mother's Day, but that's where I have to fit it in. So the update is only going to have two bags. Um, my last update two had... Two bag designs. Two bag designs, mm -hmm. right. So it's good. Yeah, not two. <laughs> Fight over. Hurry up. <laughs> Get the right away. Um, but no, it'll have my blanket tote and my inside out um, pouch or bag, whichever mm -hmm. one you want to call it. And um, yeah, and I have I have several too here. Mm -hmm. The the reason why is they take a while. The these do take quite a while because again I'm hand I'm hand sewing mm -hmm. on those. The blanket totes are just huge and trying to get them all done. Um, but I want to show mine, and I also want to show the difference between. So I have I thought when I I, I know I talked about this last time that I thought these were the same size before I got them. I just got the inside outside bag last weekend. I was like, wait, this is way bigger. Like it's they like, it's, it's even a little taller. Like I have a notebook in here 
and it totally fits. And this notebook is like a normal one I have for work, which is what I, I tucked this in because I didn't want my cat to attack me or Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Your Angel's right here. But like, it's so roomy in there. Like yeah, this one, and the peekaboo bag holds like, I've got yarn, I've got a little pouch, I've got measuring tape and scissors, and I, you know, it fits on my arm perfectly. This one is like, it's just wider. Yeah. And a little taller. It's yeah, that's awesome. about that's about a four or five inch wide is what it is. Um, the peekaboo pouch, I love the peekaboo pouch, and that'll probably be in my next update. I use actually my peekaboo pouch for all my threads for sewing because mm -hmm. I have so many different colors that I just have them sitting in there. So they're, all my bags are good for mm -hmm. knitters, sewers, uh, crafters of any kind. But this is not in the update. This is. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> Brooke, do you want to show like the inside with like a full skein of yarn in there? I know it's kind of hard to like. Yeah, that's all this. Look how big it is in there. It's a lot of room. So there, there is a lot of room. And then I love the outside zippers. Uh -huh. And there's one on both sides, which I did not know that either. Yeah, so like on mine, I have my, if you guys can see, I have my, I keep my knitting needles in there that I need for my socks. So when I'm doing the magic loop for starting, I pull out the, um, the longer one and then my circular needle that I use goes in there. And then of course your scissors, ah, Scissors, I have a little hand lotion. It just makes sure that if you're going on a retreat or anything, as I step back, <laughs> um, you, don't, uh, you don't forget anything because you know everything you need. And then I keep my pattern in there too. Everything you need is right there in front of you and you know exactly what's in your bag. Mm -hmm. So I that's that. what I, and then I, oh, made, yeah. I made my, mine a little smaller, but they're gonna be The big new enough. ones are big. The new ones are big. The new ones are like, super big right here like I can get my whole like hand in there and grab it which I really like I like a little handle it, it makes it nice yeah so that's that's the inside out pouch um, and I think I think people are really gonna like it it's got a very sturdy bottom so it keeps it nice and square yeah it's got a heart so it's not like smushy like the retreat bag or the blanket bag it's got it stands up like it totally the heart bag yep. love it I All right, just blanket toe. I think I, I need. Okay, I need when you because you're gonna do eventually during holiday. You're gonna do Christmas. Bags, yes, right? I actually have. I have Halloween fabric coming, and I have Christmas fabric coming. Um, so probably in August. I will do an update for all my bags and they will be in Christmas and Halloween fabrics. Oh, that's good. And because you know what? I want to get a blanket tote for my advent knitting. <gasps> Yay. Okay. So. Which I have a blanket tote at home that's full of all the advent stuff and the radvent pattern that we will not discuss. <laughs> <laughs> so my epic fail. My blanket tote actually has a blanket in progress in it. Because, okay, when you, put, when you gave this to me. Like when you dropped it off and I was like, oh yeah, okay, it's big. I thought it was gonna be bigger. Like the way that she was, I, I could see on the camera how, how much stuff was going in it. It's very deceiving. It's like, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. I mean yeah. like the, the well, or cause it keeps pulling stuff out or like Hermione's bag on her. This Potter. is, this mm -hmm. is actually the one that you guys lovingly called my Stephen West shawl. Because it bag. fits everything. Because it was so big and I couldn't very well call it that. Because yeah, yeah, um, copyright. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. I don't, I don't think I don't think Mr. it's a nickname. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Westnitz would be happy with uh, some his name. some no name bag lady making uh, his his name out She's there. Like, Who is this scrappy angel? <laughs> he would be like he would not even do that. But um, I wanted to show. Okay, so here's oh my gosh, I love mine. But here's the nice see through pocket and the very which happiness even pointed out a very generous. Yes, it's this a 10 is, by 10 pocket. It's huge. It goes all the way down to here. Like, it's really big pocket. I love it. But what's even better is how big this is. It opens clear up. I have got a blanket in there. And look how much room I still have. I mean, the blanket's not done, of course. But look at that. And it comes with a little hook. I've even got my little thing on it. And I love it. So what the blanket size I have in here, it's my um, Fitz and Bob's blanket. Okay. I mean, it's not small. Look how big this is. Brooke, you want to hold that side? I mean, look how big this is. And it looked like it was nothing in there. And I still have yarn, tons of scrappy yarn. I've got more pouches. I mean, 
And it's just like keeps like I've tons. Well, of room. and then don't forget when you set oh, yes. it on the ground, if you set it up, you can actually fold it. Fold it. Mm -hmm. And then with everything in it, it'll stand up. And I got a. These are some of my first ones. You guys, you guys were great when I first started out. What? Um, I love it. <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, I've got a little. Uh, stiffer interfacing the, oh, really? the, the fusible okay. so it might stand up a little better no guarantees because after a while mm -hmm. especially yeah. if you're squishing mine's and stuff well like loved that, um, mine it, for a while. it won't and it doesn't matter what bag you have it won't stand up because if you're loving it and mm -hmm. that's what I want I want everybody to love them and but look at how much room I still have and that blanket's big like I, I'm gonna have that full-size blanket in there and have no problem yeah I want I bet and you your rabbit would angel. fit in there yeah, and the angels that come with them are bigger now. I have larger angels for the blanket totes. They're they're really substantial. Oh, nice. That's nice. I like those. But yeah, that's why I want to get... I definitely want to get a Christmassy one because I want to put all my advents in there because it looks like I'm getting quite a few advents. I've only ordered one. <laughs> I only I've, ordered okay, one. I've only ordered one. How do you know? Only technically ordered one. <laughs> <laughs> but I have plans for like at least... Three more right now. Okay, a couple of them are like, they're newer, and so they're not as expensive as like some other ones. So I'm like, oh good, I can get that one. Or, and a couple of them I wanna do just like the 12 day ones. Right. And so they're smaller. And I'll just make like shawls out of them or something. Well, I'm very Owls. tempted to do, I think it's Trilogy yarn. Yes, I wanna do her Halloween one. Mm -hmm. And the blanket tote, I keep going back into it, also, <laughs> It's good for putting other, it's like a bag for other bags. So if you're right. going somewhere, if you're going on a trip, you can put all your other bags in here. It fits the um, retreat bags, big, large Absolutely. and small, perfectly. And I did a video on it, mm -hmm. which is on my Instagram, where I pulled out, I had I had all the yarn from the Radvent. So I had the 24 um, mini skeins all wound up, mm -hmm. and then I had four um, regular skeins, the 100 gram skeins in there. Plus I had two retreat bags that were full of my two sweaters that I just showed you guys that mm -hmm. were actually in the bag. Yeah. It's amazing. I love this thing. And, um, but yeah, I, I definitely want one for Christmas, but then I'm like, I think I need another one because I have a couple other blankets that I'm working on, but they're very slow moving, but eventually they're going to get bigger and I'll need its own bag. Right. Yeah. And then I'm coming up with one that'll probably be in the next update. That's just a little smaller than this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to call it my market tote. Oh, I like it. That's the, the update after this one, right? That'll probably be, yeah, end of summer. So do you want to talk about your update? So you talked about the two bags. What time? What? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. They, they always make me nervous. I, I drive myself crazy for uh, about two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Um, you poor girls hear all of it at midnight. I'm just like, oh my god, why am I so stupid? And we're I'm like, so you're amazing. <laughs> Keep coming. We're her like cheerleaders in the background. Yeah, and then I go hide. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, for the uh, sweet pea and chickadee fans Yay. out there, um, I am gonna have a coupon code that is gonna be good. It's it's starting now, um, and it'll be good until the end of May. So May Ooh. 31st. There's 31 days in May. So uh, I believe so. January, February, March. I know, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? I was, I was like almost like January, January, February, March. Yeah. You want the trick book? So it's January, February, March, April, May. That's really how you like know that. if it's got the 31 yeah. days. Oh. Really? So yeah, we just June, checked July, and then August, I July, was literally August, have it, so. doing that down here like. I'm oh, sorry. I <laughs> so they count their. I, 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 I am. I am. That's a generational thing. Yeah. I'm one of those people that it. The, Maybe it was my fault. I didn't teach it to you. The awkwardness Sorry. is out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. My kids didn't know it either. I did. Um, but yeah, so it's good until May 31st, and it is Chick P 10. I love that. Chick P 10. Chick P 10. It. So you'll get 10% off of anything that's in the shop so i'm gonna go ahead and put it right there on the bottom of the screen for yeah you, so. um, it's good for everything it's good for the bags it's good for the fabric it's good for the bundles um i even have some thread in there too oh, nice. that um i sell she's so. got some great yarn packs in there or, not yarn packs. I said, no. <laughs> some great fabric packs bundles in there like i'm not a sewer but i'm like oh those are really pretty yeah i i do and i actually have a full collection of fabric that just came in that i have to load up into the shop oh, and nice. it's 
it's really it's it's all generated around women so it's Ooh. really it's really pretty women are awesome I hope that so chickpea 10 chickpea 10 chickpea 10 um and that'll be good for the update so really excited about that guys yep, 10 percent. that's update. a good discount yeah i've been doing school and i've been lacrosse. that's right brooke has oh. been a, oh brooke is like a lacrosse superstar um i mean i think so i'm a little biased though but she's the goalie for her jv lacrosse team she said last time um and so so she had her first games this week and she did so she just had one what day is today, so sorry? we had one on Tuesday, and that was our first game, and we won that one. Woo-hoo. And you didn't tell us that at night night. Well, oh. because the one that the, the game that she had before night night they lost, so she was yeah, so. Yeah, but she should have been bragging about the one. I know. Won. We only we won by like what two points? That's still no. Old. You won by a lot. Oh well, whatever. Uh, so we had that, and then we had another game Thursday, which was two days ago. And that one we lost by two points, but they were a really good team. They were really good. But you guys did so good. Brooke did amazing as goalie. I, I don't... I let nine in, Mom. Eight. It was Same six to eight. Same but for playing two How games, many did you stop, though? I don't remember A any, lot. I didn't remember She anything. stopped way more. I mean, it was incredible, and it was... It was really good. You did really good, Yeah, Brooke. don't don't be hard on yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you, Angel, for coming on our video. Thank you, Angel. This was definitely a really fun video to film, and will be a very eventful um, video for you to edit. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be so much fun. And don't forget, Angel's update is coming up on May 8th. I should get this out hopefully by Tuesday so you guys have enough time to watch it and then go to her updates. Uh, Don't forget our discount. uh, And don't forget the giveaway as well. The the discount is chickpea10. I love that. It's so cute. And our giveaway. All right, yeah, so so just a reminder, the discount code is Mm chickpea10. And the giveaway, which we have to comment what your favorite Scrappy Angel bag is. And if you don't have one, which one would you like to purchase? And make sure you subscribed. And that's it. I guess we'll see you next time. All right, bye. bye. Bye.